In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a superhero jump effect in CapCut. This is a step by step tutorial so make sure you follow till the end so you will master this cool effect. What we need is a few shots like clean shot of the nature, then you need to film yourself walking away from the camera and jump like you want to read something in the sky. After that change the location and do the same, clean shot of some building or trees and jump of yourself but this time facing camera. Add a punch to the ground if you wish. Now open CapCut, create a new project and import all those shots that you've made. First we need to cut the first part because like I said we need a clean separate clip. Next what we want to do is hold the first clip and drag it to the second place. Now highlight the first clip and cut it right after you lift off of the ground and make a second cut right before you land. Let's stretch the clips and delete the right part. Highlight the clip where you are jumping, click overlay, then cut out and remove the background. With this clip highlighted, click on speed, normal and set the speed to around 0.5. Now go to the first clip and also click speed, then curve, custom, Edit and increase the last bit point to 5 times speed. Then highlight the clip of your jump and pull it to the beginning of the clean clip. After that we need to cut the clean clip to the same length as our jumping clip. Now because we increased the speed of the last part of the first clip, we also need to increase the speed at the beginning of our jumping clip. So let's click speed again, curve, custom, edit and pull the first bit to 5 times speed and confirm. And because we did that, we have to shorten the clean clip again to match our jumping clip. Let's stretch the clips a little again and highlight our jumping clip. Then click on keyframe at the beginning and at the end of the clip. Now shrink your body and pull it up to the sky so it looks like we are jumping in the distance. We can now move to our second jumping clip and cut it at the lift off and again right before the landing. We can delete the left part now. Then select the jumping clip, click cut out, remove background and confirm. We now need to make overlay with this clip. Now go to our last clip which is clean background and pull it to the four last place. Move our jumping clip under this clean clip. Then select it, click on speed, normal and set the speed to around 0.5. Place the keyframes on the beginning and on the end. Go to the beginning and shrink the body and pull it to the sky like we did on the first one. Again go to speed, curve, custom and pull the last bit to 5x. Then we need to cut the clean clip to match our jumping clip. Highlight the last clip, click speed, curve, custom and pull the first bit to 5x. Now we can also add the punching clip. Be careful so you place it on the right spot. We are now done with the first part so let's export the project. Create a new project again and import the clip you just exported it. But as you know there is no good video without background music or sound effects. For those I recommend Epidemic Sound because I'm using it for a long time already and because I can find a ton of royalty free music. You can choose from more than 40,000 tracks and 90,000 sound effects. If you want to try it for free, I will leave you a link in the description. But for this particular video, we will use sound effects which are already in CapCut. So go to the point of your lift off and click Audio, Effects and search for Lightning Strike and choose the one you like. For me, this sound is a little too loud so I will decrease the volume and cut the effect. 
What you can also do so the video looks even better is go to effects, video effects and search for lightning. I will choose this one. You can set it duration and other things as you wish. And when you are all set and happy, export the project and you should get something like this. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.